To think, the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle, or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? She is quite difficult. That smell. Come on, no fair! Hey, can I snag a bite? Meanie. Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um... What do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep. It was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Oh, uh, so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? You should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. <laughs> what should we do? First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. We do have the time, thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach! There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea! I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? Why me? Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Measured was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, 
Or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Hmm, I wonder if Akechi actually knows that Joker is a member of the Phantom Thieves and the rest of the students that he's already met at Shujin. Is, um, all of them Phantom Thieves. Seriously. So anyway, besides that, we are going to um, try and welcome Futaba as a member of the team and also get her used to society in general. And this is all the next few events that happen in the story are probably some of my favorite things that happen in the in the game. Is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. Oh, and something else happens with Mona. I don't like. Seriously. Um, but apparently we're getting another text from Mishima. Oh well, um... I'm going to ignore that for now, and actually, um, uh, well, we have the choice of Oya or um, Hifumi, so who are we going with? We're going to go see Oya, right. Yeah, kind of over, I guess. I think I'm kind of over uh, thingy here, but... Uh, hey, hey. Well, we can still speak to her, can't we? Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, I guess so. Oh no, we got up to like 40 degrees Celsius over here, which is a over 100 degrees Fahrenheit uh, this summer. Seriously, you need to cause some fires and everything. Yeah, but never mind that for now. Um, apparently, um, Oya uh, is rank three. So, um, indeed, um, what will we get if we speak to her now? I don't know, but I do want to advance her uh, thing after spending so much time on Hifumi over the last few days. So, yeah, we'll hang out with her. I already said we would. So, let's indeed do that. Shit. What is the, what? Ugh. Hide? Hide from what? Who's this guy? Middle-aged man. Chief? You mean this guy's your boss? Seriously? Um, I'm guessing she's not, uh, well, I'm a so-called independent journalist. I would stand up for her, but... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, first, um, a court up. Pretending she has a boyfriend, and now this? Um, how old is Oya again? Seriously? I mean, I guess she's relatively young, but I think she might be older than Joker. She looks like in her mid-twenties, I'd say. Not exactly a student, is she? <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. We'll have to play along now. If it worked for uh, Makoto, it'll have to work for Oya as well. So you don't have to know. That, I mean, oh yeah, I mean. A partner? Is she married? Ugh. What is with that guy? Seriously. Oh yeah, he is an arrogant bastard. I agree. I don't know. Uh, you watch the anime. Uh, <laughs> not that good at uh, dealing with women. Is Joker in that one? Right. Anyway, we are done here. And we get a bit more charm. Not that it matters. I think our charms are, are max now. We're debonair. Well <laughs> Something. Anyway, uh, that being said, we'll move on to the next day when we start 
of Hutaba's rehabilitation. Seriously. And, as I say, this is one of my favorite moments of story in the game. Seriously. There's a reason why I didn't really talk about Futaba, and you'll see why as we go on. But firstly, another meeting with Igor. Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. I believe I told you we would spare no expense in cooperating with you. Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down, otherwise you may get swept off your feet. All right. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. Okay. What is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. I thought it would be best to start off just by learning some more about each other. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Uh... Let's try a different topic. How about the weather? I heard that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. Then I'll... I haven't been out. Oh. Right. Kodo's getting overwhelmed. Th this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Oh, superb. Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. My children! What have you done to my children? They appear to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Ranger's Neo Featherman! No, yellow and pink's heads, and red's been hacked to bits! This... Inari? You know... Inari sushi? The tombu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari. Oh, they were in the perfect poses, too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. Oh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. Uh, how dare you say that to me, of all people? Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. Yeah. 
I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Hmm? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes! She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! Well, I guess in that case... I've left tomorrow to An and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so you'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go.